Hey everyone, Jason Owens here from Campaign Sauce Digital Marketing. I hope you are having a fantastic day. We are here today to talk about the right way to use an alias domain inside of Google Workspace. All right, so before we dive in too deeply, let me tell you very quickly about the two websites that I have. So obviously we have one here for campaignsauce.com. It's my digital marketing company, clearly. And then the second one that is coming into play here is jasonrowens.com. It's one that I do for some public speaking work. So we'll, we'll dive out to that very quickly and I'll just show you. So obviously here's campaign sauce, right? Straightforward. And uh, you can reach out to me here. I've, I have my email address on all my slides, right? That, I, that I've sent out. Um, likewise, here is my public speaking site that I'm working on reviving. There's, there's a lot going on here in the background. I'll spare you the details. But these are the two sites that are really in question. All right, so that gives you the background of where we're coming from. Now, to give you an idea, you have two different choices here whenever you're working. You have something called a secondary domain or you have what's called this alias domain. And here's the way I've been able to wrap my mind around it for myself and for my clients. So I have campaign sauce. And let's say that I have these three people working for me. We have Jack, we have Devon, and we have Kelly. So we have these three people working for me and, and they do not cross pollinate at all with the people over here on my public speaking side, right? So inside of Campaign Sauce, they will end up having their own names, their own emails, their own Google Workspace accounts, so to speak, their own Google Drive, right? So all of that is kept separate from the other domain. Now, obviously over here in the public speaking side, there's Patrick, Jasmine, and Brian, okay? And these three people, again, they have their own accounts, their own emails, and they only do business inside the public speaking side. So I can, underneath the umbrella of the Google Workspace account, I can have multiple domains, okay? Many, many different domains as long as these guys do not do a whole lot of cross-pollinating, okay? Now, let's say that there is a little bit of overlap, right? So let's say that there's Amy, and Amy actually does some work for Campaign Sauce, so she needs one of those emails, and then she also does some work for my public speaking side, so that would mean she would need one of those emails, right? Well, again, that's still in the, the guise of a secondary domain. You would end up having to pay for licenses for, well, in Amy's case, I would end up having uh, a license that I would have to end up paying for her because of course she would end up straddling both worlds. Now, let's say that there's a lot of overlap, like 100% overlap, okay? So let's say that all of these people did work for both sides, okay? And they each could have, or uh, they, they, they could, or maybe they don't always have to have a second email, right? Depending upon what world they're working in. Well, if your team has a lot of overlap here, right? Amongst your domain. So if you have, um, all of your folks end up using the one domain and, and say nobody uses the secondary domain but you, um, you can end up doing an alias domain, right? So that's what I want to do here in this case is that I want to have this alias domain inside of my Google Workspace account. So anyway, let's dive out here for a second. I wanna show you kind of what this looks like. So I'm here inside of my admin console. I've logged into my Google Workspace account. You just scroll down here and you're looking for this area called domains and we're going to add a domain. So here's the sign that comes up here. It says, well, all right, so if your organization owns multiple domains, blah, 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 you can add them all to your Google account. Okay, that's great. So now you get to select what type. So let's go ahead and enter in my domain. So that's my Jason R. Owens.com domain. All right, so now let's let's read these out. So the secondary domain, right, manage separate teams of users, right? So no overlap, okay? Um, so that's the secondary domain. The user alias domain, which is what we want, this is this is the reason I want this is because you can give users this ultimate email address at no extra cost. This is the buzzword that I'm looking for here, okay? So at no extra cost, that's what we're going for. So I'm gonna add this domain and I'm gonna start the verification process. In this next step, you'll be brought to a screen that's asking you to verify your domain. So it's going to ask you to pull up your, something called DNS settings or advanced settings. Basically what you're looking for is a way to go in and edit your domain name server records. Now, depending upon which company you're using to host your site, this could be done for you automatically, or you may need to go in like I do and add in some of these next steps. So I've already added in my, uh, sorry, I've already gone in and opened up my register. So I'm ready to go ahead and edit. And it's saying here that we need to go in and create a text record. So we're going to 
copy this stuff over to the clipboard, go over and we're going to add a text record. And again, depending upon what system you're using, you may have to type in a couple of different values for your values may not match the ones that I had to type in. Sometimes it's just an at symbol. Sometimes the TTL is going to be different. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, see, so I need to go in here and add a different TTL. There we are. Okay, and you can check this to see if that record is propagating by going out to whatsmydns.net. I went ahead and typed in the name of my site. And again, we already know that I'm looking for a text record. So let's go back and see. Yeah, see, so right here, Holtzville, New York, right? So there's the Google one. We've got some old parameters stuck in here that I've, I've erased actually before I started recording this video. So um, yeah, anyway, you'll see that the propagation will start. So let's go back to Google now and let's see if this guy uh, will actually work for us. So hit protect domain. It's doing its magic check down here, if you can see down at the bottom. Oh, wow, you can close this page and return later. Five minutes re remaining. All right, so we'll start the timer here and uh, see how long this takes. All right, so it took a few minutes there, but we did end up getting the verification. Notice right here, jasonrowens.com is verified. Notice now we have a link that says activate Gmail. So for my campaign sauce, you can see that that Gmail was activated long ago. Let's go ahead and activate the Gmail. Okay, we're gonna set up an MX record. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We don't wanna skip. Yeah, we'll definitely wanna go ahead and set up the mail record right now, the mail exchange. All right, so my world doesn't operate automatically. So again, if you're with, say, a GoDaddy, it would probably have done all of this automat automatically for you. Um, so we're going to go ahead back and we're going to basically do that same editing that we did before. Uh, so we're going to look at, we're going to go in here and we're going to add um, some MX records here for Google. Looks like we just have the one that we have to add in. So that's going to be nice. All right, so let's go in and do that. And we need to be right here. We're going to add a record that's going to be an MX record right here. Uh, priority is one, the destination. We just type in and let's see what was their advice here for our zone name host. OK, so it just needs to be my root zone there, which is jasonrowens.com. All right, and we're going to go ahead and add this record and boom okay so it said it successfully there so we're going to pop back over and oh wow okay so we do have extra domains that we need to add in uh all right that's fine this is pretty standard stuff for google so we're going to make sure that we go in and add these so notice the priorities change here this is priority one and then the rest of these kind of drop down to priorities five and ten so i'll go through the motions here and add the rest of these in and then we'll come back all right, so I added all of the MX records as promised, and it does, in fact, look something like this. So you have the MX records. That's the priority one. These two are the priority fives. These two are the priority tens. All right, um, now let's go back over to our buddy uh, campaign. Sorry, what's my DNS.net? We're going to go see how these name servers are propagating out there. So there we go, right? So there's the one, there's the 10, there's the five. Yeah, so that's all propagating quite well. So really happy with that. And let's go ahead back over here to activate Gmail and let's see what we get. See if the gods of technology like us. See if it's all propagated appropriately. And there we are. We have green checks all the way around. And there we are. So we come back and Gmail is activated and it's activated for my jasonrowens.com domain. So let's see what uh, just a test email would look like. So I'm going to send this from my personal email. It's going out to this now, the new email, and I'm saying test email. We'll call this test email one after installing the new alias domain. So we'll hit the send button on that. All right, and you can see there it is. It just came in. Now, what I find intriguing about this, of course, is that I set this up. I mailed that to Owen. Sorry, I mailed that to Jason at jasonrowens.com. Notice the inbox that it came in. It came into my campaign sauce email, right? So it obviously it came from my personal email. Who did it go to? Went to jasonrowens.com. But when we look at the inbox, see it says right there, inbox is campaignsauce.com. So yeah, so anyway, 
Just so you know, that is the way that this is supposed to work, right? It's exactly the way it's supposed to work. Uh, it would be fun to, let's say, you know, for my speaking site, if I wanted to have an email address over here that said uh, speaking at jasonrowens.com or inquiries at jasonrowens.com, right? So we should be able to go ahead and set that up back over here inside of the workspace itself. So anyway, so that is that. It's a, it's a great great day outside. Hope you have a chance to get outside. And remember, if you want to raise your game, head over to campaignsauce.com. Look for a tab called intensives. These are times when you can come and we can sit down and we can do this work together face-to-face one-on-one for your company. Heck, bring out several members of your team. Would love to set up a full day intensive to help you in your entire digital marketing game. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.